What's good, YouTube? It's your girl who did it, and I'm back with another one to tell you who did it now. I just had to confront this because my friends are sending me. I'm in the train right now, y'all. This is going to be like a quick, a little short video because I, this is nothing new. Like, we need to start actually doing something and stop acting surprised when these people start showing their hands. Of course, that, of course, this is what's going on in the industry. We know that. We gotta stop acting like we was dumb, giving them that. No, we gonna we have to start canceling them. Like, if we wanna see change, we gotta do something about this. Like, if everybody was to get on YouTube and protest and talk about it, like how you know we talk about it, something could happen. Cause they can't ban everybody. They cannot ban everybody. It's too much people. And the thing is, the way this world is set up, they set it up in a way to make you feel like, oh. Like most of the population is okay with this. No, it's it's no, no. It, in the real world, no. Hope. This is not what's happening with the real people with real brains, not the zombies. Because, like I said, the the, the vaccine, those those the, those is just like the boost, the boost. No, we already walking amongst zombies, like. I don't know if y'all don't realize, but we're living in a total twilight zone. Like, nobody, like, Mac bit of truth, he be, he, like, he was right about a lot of the things. And I got to shout him out and I exposed him seeds out because, you know, they was confirming a lot of stuff I knew since I was, like, 13, 14. I was into this type of stuff. Like, and they actually gave me confidence in Made me have the voice that I have today to be able to come out and speak. Like I, I do this for people to know they can do it too. Like we all can do this. Like we all need to get on this protest and wave and cancel them. Like without us, it's no, it would be no Hollywood. It would be no none of this shit. But they constantly like we gotta teach ourselves these things on the earth, the physical, what we see in the physical, the cars and the clothes and the money. It don't mean nothing because. That's not how we supposed to live in the first place. Like, we really not supposed to live in the first place. Like, like that in the first place because God put everything here for us. Like, he really did. We had all the resources we needed. We never needed to go make a paper and fucking fuck up the people and make an economy. Like, what type of slave? That's slavery right there. Financial slavery. Like, they've been doing a lot of shit since, you know, from generations ago, and it's about time we actually do something now and stop talking about this shit. I feel like if we all get on the same page, if we all do the same thing, all of us who feel a way about what's going on, we could really have a voice and we could change things and we could even save people, people who don't know. Because let me tell you, everybody wasn't born into the background where knowledge was just was like their family's culture. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't come up in a home where knowledge was a culture in the family. Like a lot of people came up in some pretty messed up situations. Some people didn't have a chance to grow up and develop and really, you know, gain what a brain really is. Some people have trauma issues. Some people, you know, they don't worry about things like this because of what they went through, you know? so. That's why I said, anything, if anything, if you have to drop something and focus on your mental health, go ahead. Go ahead, like, check on your friends, check on your people, check on your family, because this world is driving people crazy. And a lot of people are silently depressed, silently suicidal, silently, like, you, you'll see the biggest smile on their face, but they really depressed, you know? Because it's like they know something is wrong, not in with just they like the world, but it's like they too distracted with what's going on in their life. Like them not having a chance to really grow and develop. You know, so don't judge nobody because they don't, some people really don't know better. Some people don't know better, you know? So I shout people out too, those people who had lack of knowledge and they seek knowledge, you know? 
I didn't know what was going on. You know, it takes time. I mean, some people catch on faster than others. It's not, don't judge nobody because they don't know, you know, what you know, or they don't see what you see. Help them see what you see. So let's all get on the bandwagon and let's start banning these people. They corrupting everything. It's like, nobody could tell me, <clears throat> nobody could tell me there's not an agenda being pushed. Now you got basketball players wearing skirts, which which have been happening from a long time. Diddy did it before, ASAP Rocky did it before, Young Thug did it before, Future wore a skirt. Like all these pe all these people like and we just keep letting it slide, like, nah, let's cancel them. Let's stop supporting them. Let's stop supporting them. Because basketball ain't even a real sport no more with their magnetic hoop. Everything in the sports is great. So let's stop supporting these people because obviously they looking towards the demolition of mankind. So, you know, anyway, I just have to touch real quick on this before my train pull off. But who did it out? Oh, and like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend.